Hello guys, welcome back to Special Creations by Nelly, where I show you how to make your party decorations beautiful without spending a lot of money. This idea was a request for, for a rainbow gender reveal, but it can also be done for a love of rain party, my little pony, a baby shower, a birthday party, and more. So you decide. I did two different um theme decorations and i hope you like them both um, with that said let's not forget to hit the little bell button so you can get notified every time i post a video i will be posting every week so let's hit that bell so you can get notified this one is another way that you also can do it and it still looks beautiful i like them both um my favorite i would have to say would be probably this one so please let me know in the comment below which one you like better the first one or this or the second one with that said, thank you again for watching Special Creations by Nelly, and I hope you guys like it. With that said, let's get started into this video. So the first thing I did was grab two foam boards from Dollar Tree, and I was going to go ahead and attach them together, just like that, and put some tape around it. Then after that, I went ahead and grabbed this circle and placed it on the middle. You could also use a plate or anything that you have that is like this shape, and then just go ahead and mark it down. Then I grab my measuring tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and do 12 inches and then just mark it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it all around it. So this is what's gonna make my rainbow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing this until I do the whole thing on the other side. So then I went ahead and grabbed my pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the dot together, just like that. Then after that, I'm gonna grab my knife and cut it out. Then I took another foam board and I'm just gonna measure four inches. So I'm gonna do this to the whole board. So I'm gonna need four of them, four inches each. Then I went ahead and grabbed, you could grab a ruler. I didn't have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a straight light line down. Just like that. Then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my knife and cut it out. Then after that, I cut all the four pieces, I'm just going to go ahead and take it and slice them down in the middle. I'm not going to cut it all the way through, just before the edges. I'm just going to slide it through it, just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab it and bend it. The reason for this is to be bendable so I could glue it. So then go ahead, grab your hot glue. And I'm just going to put some hot glue at the bottom and then attach it. Just like that. I'm going to continue doing this until I do the whole thing around. Then once I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and play all my little balloons, all different colors. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my hot glue and attach it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dot glue and I'm just gonna put it in the middle so they can attach better. For this um, glue, I will put the link down below where you can get them. Then go ahead and grab your measuring tape and just measure how big you would like your clouds to be. Depends how big you're doing your rainbow. Then I went ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it down. Mine was like 12 by um, 13, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark it down. And then that gives me a guide of onto how big I'm going to make it. And then I just went ahead and start drawing them. Guys, this is simple to draw. If I could do it, you can do it because I'm telling you I'm horrible at drawing. And it comes, and it comes out pretty cute. So just go ahead and continue drawing it. Then once you're done, cut it out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attach it, my little ball and eyes. For this cut out, I will put it on my shop so you can also get them.
Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot glue and I'm gonna attach it to the top of the rainbow. Then the next thing I did was grab my stand and I'm just gonna go ahead and take my curtain and attach it with double-sided tape at the back. Guys, these stand, I will put the link down below where you could get them. If you do want a birthday party baby shower, you definitely need to get this. This is something that you're going to use forever. I use for all my party decoration, you see me using this stand. Then you can use these safety pins as well to attach the curtain to the back. Then I grabbed this Christmas light because I didn't have the other light. And I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the back with the safety pins as well. And then just go ahead and tie it in the back as many as you would like. Then I want to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and put my table in the middle. Then for the balloon, what I'm gonna go ahead and make two small, two medium, and one large. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the small one and attach a string to it, just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my medium size and put it on top. And do the same thing and just go around with the string. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the big one and put it on top. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the medium and attach it as well. And then go ahead and take another small one and put it on top. Then you're going to do and take a small one and take the other part of the balloon and just tie it together. And that gives you your rainbow clouds. And this is how beautiful everything turns out. For the next DIY, what I grab is my table and the foam board and I'm just going to go ahead and mark it down to see the height that I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach the two foam boards together. As you can see, I made a straight line um, down there and that's how high I would like to cut it, but it depends on your table. That's how if you decide to cut it or not. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife and cut it out because I don't need it that big for my table. Once again, you will cut it if your table is not as high. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw my cloud. Guys, don't get scared when it comes to drawing the cloud. Just look at a picture and it's not that hard to do. Trust me. When I'm telling you, I'm horrible at drawing. And since I started drawing, it comes out good. So if I could do it, you could do it as well. Then after I'm done drawing, I'm just going to go ahead and take out my knife and cut it out. Then once I'm done cutting it out, I'm just going to go ahead and put my ball and all my little cut out to make my cloud very cute. Once again, you can also get this cut out at my shop, but you can also draw it themselves um, if you look one of my other video with the um, llama I, I teach you how to make the eyes in there so just go ahead and take a look and this is how beautiful it turns out I hope you guys like it. You can also put um, little heart string on the clouds, um, on the top. Um, there's so many things you can do with the decorations that I'm just giving you an idea of what you could do and then just use your imagination and incorporate your own style. I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys let me know what you guys think of this birthday party decorations. Thanks again for watching Special Creations by Nelly. Until next time.